Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to this 51st Monday live stream. Kind of hard to believe that we're up to 51 now. Hi, everybody. But uh, yeah, um, I'm incredibly happy that we're still doing this. Uh, it's definitely been an incredibly important part of keeping me sane through this pandemic, and hopefully it's helped you too. Uh, today is a special stream for the second time. I'm going to welcome a really wonderful bassist, Paul Sikivi, um, and we're going to play some music for you today. So here he is. Hi, Paul. Hey. <laughs> that didn't quite turn out. As I look a little bit more uh, there we go. <laughs> like code than I thought I did, but yeah. it's, it's cool. Paul Sikivi in code. Hey, everybody. We're going to encode you. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing good. Better now that I see you. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, this was a totally spontaneous thing. I called Paul up uh, last night at maybe eight p.m. and uh, we decided to play together. Let's see, we've got um, wow, Frank, who's in Connecticut. We've got Carol in Vermont, Marlia in Arizona, Kristen Berardi in um, in Switzerland. Molly in Maine, Michael in Portland, Silvano in Italy, Joyce, can't remember where you are, Joyce, uh, in New York, um, Teresa in Sacktown, Mats, Grace, Daniele, uh, who's in Switzerland too. Uh, really great to see you all. We're gonna dive in and play, play some music for you. Um, yeah, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna just jump in.
Yeah, Paul. Pleasure as always, Dan. Yeah, what a pleasure, man. It's funny, as, as soon as you play, I just feel this like sense of peace. <laughs> like your 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 sound, your your whole energy on the bass is just so kind of grounded, which is a good thing for a bassist. Wow, that's a that's a high compliment. Thank you so much. It must not be coming from me. It must be coming from uh, a higher power or somewhere else because you don't feel particularly grounded these days. Well, these days in particular, not 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 so much. Yeah, but I mean, I'm fine. Don't worry. Nobody should worry. But it's uh, it's a hard time to feel. I think fully grounded yeah it's a challenging time man but this helps this helps a lot uh frank geyer says did i hear bye bye blackbird in there yes you did in fact that entire song was bye bye blackbird <laughs> i just didn't really state the melody um at the beginning i just saved it for the end um yeah there are people joining us from all over the world today Really amazing. Um, let's see. Yeah, Camila Osio is, is joining us from Sao Paulo in Brazil, which is fantastic. Thanks for being here, Camila. And uh, I saw somebody earlier who joined us from Moscow, I think. Beautiful. Um, yeah, if you guys have any requests, this is a good day for requests because this is a day when we can just play some jazz tunes. So, um, so please put them in the comments. Marlia Reese says, higher power channeled through you too. Thank you, Marlia. I'm also super chilled out because I ran this half marathon uh, on Saturday and I'm still kind of recovering energetically. Congrats on that, by the way, Mass. That's an accomplishment. Oh, thanks. Well, not that big, that big a deal, but. It was fun, right. good, good, good goal to have. I just signed up for another one actually, May 15th. Well, I think I'm gonna run it May 23rd because actually, you know, nowadays they're virtual, these half marathons, so they give you a week to run them. That seems like a long time for a half marathon. <laughs> yeah, a week, yeah. <laughs> um, Marlia Reese requests Skylark. Do you know, do you know Skylark? Sure. What, what key? Um, I think E flat is normal, but if you feel inclined elsewhere, I'm, I'm down. Yeah, E flat's fine, or sometimes I play it in D flat, which is nice. It doesn't matter. D flat sounds good. Let's do that. Okay. Skylark in D flat. Here we go. From Arlea.
What a touch you got there, Dan. Oh, man. Paul. Inspiring to play with you, man. That was fun. Ah. Good one. Yeah. Yeah, this is exactly what I needed today, man. It's funny. Um, on For the race on Saturday, I drank a ton of coffee, which I never do. I never drink coffee. Hmm. I mean, I'll drink, I'm, I'll, I'll have an espresso like once every couple of weeks, you know? But I really drank a lot because I wanted to use it as a, as a performance enhancing drug. <laughs> and it works, you know, like if you never drink coffee and then you have coffee, it'll, it'll boost your speed by like five to 10%. It's crazy. Wow. Um, but, um, but yeah, so now I just feel <laughs> totally chilled out. <laughs> Um, it's good. You sound chilled out. Yeah. Sounds cool. Jim nice. Mackney. Hi, Jim. He says, you're right, DT. Paul's bringing a peaceful vibe. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, should we play one of mine? I'm into it. Yeah. So I, I tried to write a, a song for, for Paul today, and I actually almost finished one, but didn't quite get there. So I thought we'd play uh, some songs that I wrote, um, you know, in the last couple months and that I haven't had much of a chance to play. So maybe we'll start with, um, with uh, the one that Joyce Glasgow called Scarlet Palette. Cool. This is, this is uh, when I wrote back in January, in late January. And uh, here it is.
Yeah, Paul. Great Yay. tune, man. Scarlet Palette. Scarlet Palette. Aptly named by Joyce Glasgow. I guess I dressed, uh, dressed for success on that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, between the, the plaid, t- plaid shirt and the, and the kind of reddish base, I think you're in business, man. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a little sun this weekend. Joyce Glasgow uh, says, This piece reminds me of opening a magical jewel box and finding inside a treasure trove of glimmering, faceted scarlet rubies of all tones, from rusted red to fiery orange, sparkling, enchanting, drawing one into their magical world of imagination. Wow. (laughs) Love it. It's a beautiful picture. Um... Yeah, um, Drew Mc, uh, Mc, McConaughey asked for some other time. That's probably one you know, right? But I. I'm honestly quite a bit rusty on it myself. It, what is it in C and then like E major or something like that? Or? Yeah, you know, I think I'd have to take a look at that one. It does some funny things. I would have to take a look at it too, honestly. Yeah. Beautiful song, oh god. Uh, yeah, some other time. Yeah, it's, it's a real beauty. Um, Jonathan Glass asked for Alone Together. That's always a good one. That's good. Yeah, you want to pick a key? Say what? You want to pick a key? Um, any key is fine. Shall we ask our audience for a key? Sure. Okay, friends. Please give us a key for Alone Together. Kristen Berardi asked if I can whistle it. Yeah, Kristen, I can whistle it. Oh wait, let me let me give myself some reverb. Oh no. There you go. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> uh, Greg Karukas asked for B minor. B minor, it is. B minor, it is. Alone together in B minor. You want to bring us in? Sure. What tempo do you feel? Yeah, whatever you feel. Let's see. Where have we been so far? We did. All right. Let me think about it. Uh... Um, Alphonse Petit Boudou on YouTube points out that alone together for a distanced duo is kind of like an obvious choice. <laughs>
Yeah, Paul, that was beautiful, man. Beautiful solo. And for some reason, I, I actually don't even know exactly why this happened, but I think the sound cut out on uh, partway through your solo. Uh-oh. So, um, on which, uh, on which, like, for whom? <laughs> for the audience or for you or how? No, for me, it was perfect, uh, which is why I didn't notice it right away. But thankfully, we have the comments and I saw... Um, Hmm. people um mentioning the uh the 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 that the sound had, had gone so maybe it was because you gave me an unaccompanied solo and uh the computer was like we can't have that can't have <laughs> like an accompanied bass solo yeah that's that's uh yeah <laughs> i don't know I, I hope it's uh i hope it's fixed in the the final here yeah no but that that was beautiful man thank um, you you too my friend I liked uh, the moment at the very beginning when I think we both realized that we hadn't thought the key through all the way. <laughs> yeah, there's all that awkward moment. Uh, yeah, in Alone Together. Th this one. Right. Yeah. Uh, Cameron Aaron says that they had to use their imagination for the part where the sound cut out. Is it back now, though? Oh yeah, no, I got it back pretty quickly. Oh, okay. But it it cut out for a minute, so I'm not sure exactly why. I'm gonna make a, a statement that I, I have 20% battery on my phone, which means I'm not sure how that calculates for the rest of the uh, time. I could probably rig a little charger thing, but it might take a minute. Well, man, you know, it's 2.50. We've been playing for 50 minutes. Let's, let's play for like another 20. Okay, great. In fact, how about... Um, how about we play another one of mine? Perfect. Uh, this is another one that I felt like it would be nice to play with Paul. This one I wrote uh, just a month ago on February 28th. Um, and Bob McWilliams titled it Penmanship, which is perfect because I wrote it for Matt Penman and Clarence Penn. That is a great title. And I wrote it by Anne. So. No, that's that's a keeper. <laughs> Here we go. Penmanship. Paul Security.
Yeah, Paul. Yeah, thanks. That was really fun. Thank you. I'm starting to understand that a little better. It's a beautiful, <laughs> goes a lot of cool places. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like it. I feel like I, I, I like the way the, the bridge opens up, you know? Yeah. I feel like it's, it always takes a little effort, I find, to really firmly establish a different feeling for the bridge, right? Because the bridge is supposed to be like a, a window opening up onto something else. Right. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, there's a lot of ways it could go, I guess. Um, skirting, you know, skirting like a, a Latin feel or whatever they call it these days. Uh huh. Yeah, straight A's kind of thing. Yeah, actually, it'd be fun as a kind of more overtly Latin thing, right? Right. Yeah, actually, something you played in there reminded me, well, a few things reminded me of Chick Corea in a very um, general way, but I, there was one moment where I think I might have even heard a quote from Spain or something Oh yeah, next door or neighbors to it. Well, you know, it's funny. I mean, uh, a few days after his, his death, I, I had this Monday live stream and I, I um, Jorge Roder and I played exclusively uh, Chick Corea tunes wow. the entire time. Wow. And so that got me really, that got me listening to him again. And actually I've been listening to some of his albums on my, on my runs. Uh, so he's, he's definitely back in my ear. He has so many, he's such a, a, a huge oeuvre, as they say. I mean, he, he yeah. recorded so much music, and a lot of it isn't as listened to as, you know, his big, his biggest hits, but there's a lot of great music in there. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, he, he was a very solid composer, you know, really knew what he was doing. He, mm. he, he could churn out good compositions. Yeah. Hmm. Um, man, shall we play um, one more standard and then and then finish with uh, the uh, with that last one of of mine sure i'm into it let's see what do i got here i got 12 percent battery so let's let's uh okay let's just see what happens okay yeah. um, alphonse petit budu on, on youtube says well played for cutting that sound out uh briefly to get even more desire and attention from your listeners. <laughs> <laughs> it was all on purpose, right? All part of the plan, man. <laughs> um, and Gordon Lutz says, don't take this the wrong way, but you're providing a soundtrack for my grocery shopping. Now a soul enhancing experience. <laughs> wow. Great, <laughs> great. great. Um, Frank Geyer asked for an Ellington piece. Um, I wonder about, how about, um, how about in a sentimental mood? That's a great one. I haven't played that in a long time. I love it. I hope I can remember it. I believe in you. Okay. Let's do in a sentimental mood.